Theron. Oh man. Alright. Is there a healer here? I don't see one. Well, I have to go to classroom 1 4, so. Let's hope I don't get immediately put into a battle. We are here, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that we have some very special guests that are here to see you today. We left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in with the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do, these knees are cracking. Oh, please, you're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Ruiz. I hear you've been busy battling with the BB League. What a thing to make it as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. Yeah, thank you so much. Sorry, Miss Briar, but can we leave all that for another time? What's the thing you wanted to tell us about? My apologies, that was insensitive of me. We get straight to today's topic then. I want you all here to join me on an expedition on the secluded mystery, secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Sure, it's mysterious. The Area Zero, that place in Paul you got one of. You wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goal was to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon to gather some samples of crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Oh no. Terrapagos, a legendary Pokemon. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Hi, Gita. Been a while. Oh, you're here too. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Ah, oh, La Primera. How are you doing? Hmm? Champion Ruiz. I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, oh, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. Ruiz just, cor uh, Ruiz just cornered our new BB League champion, too. Your talent's as brilliant as always, my C. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero. The great crater at the center of Paldea. Mm-hmm. Mm. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring the... monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off-limits even for research. That being said... Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokémon could escape the area. We need... There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But our Pokemon, at our Pokemon League, we had not find. Tr we've had trouble finding capable personnel. Not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me, and I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we're not better equipped to deal with it ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokémon. And with Champion Ruiz also on the team, I would know I could safely initiate a new expedition. Ah, oh, thank God, I'm here. Right, Kieran? He, he knows I'm right. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be reassuring to have you with us. What would you say? Will you join a little team as we explore Area Zero? Uh, I mean, I guess. I kind of know the place like the back of my hand, so sure. Splendid. Well, said Ruiz. Uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support would be very useful as always, Karma, and I appreciate having you on board. Mm, sorry, but I'll pass on this one. 
League Club's a whole mess right now. We need a steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what a mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. I'm going. There's a legendary Pokemon. I want to find it and catch it. This time I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Ruiz, and myself. Ah. The Kitakami crew. Lovely. You have my thanks on this help. Uh, you have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to finding... Look forward to the great findings that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero has finally become a reality. <laughs> now, it's time to repair. Let's be by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. All right. I gotta take a few sips of my drink. Hmm. Mm, locked. All right. My Pokemon are still knocked the fuck out. It's been a while, Champion Ruiz. Hey, kiddo. Riker's here too, at your service. Not gonna lie, never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and, li and living up to your title as Paldea Champion, even while abroad. That's what champions do. <laughs> Indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the least permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not going to get a scolding. Don't think that you're not going to get a scolding for that. That's what champions do? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. And besides, we have a good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Reese had ventured into the Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll leave off the hook this one time. But I think the boss was stepping in. Don't think too poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Other Champion Ruiz. This time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Yay. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking that into account, the dangers of Area Zero, I've elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened. Obfuscating certain details. Speaking, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Oh shit. Yes, yes I did. I forgot about that. Jumping Ruiz would be so kind of take this for me. The indigo disc. A mysterious disc with an indigo shine to it. Given to you by the top, ch top, chop, chop, <laughs> top champion. It seems to be tied to area zero. What? Is that anyway a TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by the area zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it, it's certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for showing data. I honestly have no idea what its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figure that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of the disc while you're there. Hmm, maybe I won't tell Briar about this, maybe I will. While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back too? I can do that. I do ask you to return the disc to me in the end, you end up not finding a use for it. There's still so much we don't know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Uh, I wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I got my own work to do. Do your best down there, and don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now, please excuse us. I. Hmm. Um, let's go to the terrarium just so that way I can freaking heal up. 
Kieran, you doing alright? Area zero, right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. Alright. He gets awfully quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bad out of shape and he lost. God, I oh my, I forgot its name, but the fucking Dibbling Evolution. I'm still thinking about it. Fuck. God damn it. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Ruiz? Yep. Splendid. We're finally setting. We're finally ready to set off then. But you feeling alright? Well, enough to travel at least. Well, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, uh, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero. No matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran. Briar, not now. <laughs> Alright then, shall we? Hmm, so we're going to fight Kieran again, probably, with Terrapagos, because he 100% has a Master Ball, if he also became champion. And that's what they give you when you become champion. So, so I'd like to point out, I became champion, they didn't give me a Master Ball in Paldea. I actually had to fucking save the world to do it. You guys give out fucking Master Balls like it's candy. We made it! I'm, I'm finally here! Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Wow, this is incredible. Wowzers. So uh, you've been here before, right, Ruiz? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? How you doing, Morita? <laughs> you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that, you watching my dawn? Maridon, you bitch. <laughs> so you came here with a Reese back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that re was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very interested in the specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Deeper down in the Zero Lab? He mentioned it in his writings when he fell from the depths to somewhere even deeper. Wait, hold on, doesn't depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, he also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If the writings are to believe, there must be an, an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. And either way, we should start making for the Zero Lab down the depths. You take the lead, Ruiz. Oh, God, Area Zero music is so good. Can I ride? You can ride more ride on. Oh, I, so I, I just want to ride just so I can process some shit. Just... Jesus fuck. This DLC, it's been a lot of fun. I feel like I really needed this. Just some casual Pokemon fun. And the fights for the most part, yeah, they've been challenging. I've like won, even the fights that I, I beat first try, I've like won with like the skin of my fucking teeth. And I'm also really glad they put in the time to actually have like a separate line of dialogue for Kieran when you summon out Ogre Palm. Uh, unfortunately, Piper couldn't really do much, but... You know, them's the breaks. Porygon Z though, that was a that was a problem. <laughs> uh, I'm actually curious. I have to look back at the footage and like replay some scenarios in my head. If that first hyper beam hit and landed, like did the freaking intimidate from spine matter? I'm like trying to think about like what was the other Pokemon out at the time. It was Porygon Z. God, it already feels like forever ago because I got so sidetracked because of the stuff from here. Uh, I was Porygon Z and something else. It's off of my head, though. I can't recall it. I'm actually curious. I know they want to be the area zero, but I wonder if I go... 
over to that one area off here. Not there. Wait a second. I think I was right the first time. Over here. I don't think this is going to be, because obviously they're not, like, physically here following me, but... No, okay. They would have triggered by now if there was something planned there. That's fine. Whoa, this place is insane. Reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is Area Zero Lab, I take it. I hope the structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So, this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Nope. Well, yes, and no. This is the deepest point that Area Zero Expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, what I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're... what you're saying is we should head inside this zero lab. It's closed though. Huh? Oh, you're... oh, you're right. What do we do now, Ruiz? You've been here before, right? We gotta disable the lock. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. Hi. Well, I, I didn't say anything. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Ruiz? Yep. Oh, sorry, I gotta pronounce my T's better, because like, the sentence I just read could absolutely be read differently. Or heard differently. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? Hmm. It opened before though, right? There has to be some extra stuff we're missing. Uh, there was four locks before. I see, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It, it's talking! Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. Alright. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. Not anything different than a TM machine. Indigo disc? What could I mean by that? No, I have it. Don't worry about it. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Oh, how fun! Go on, Ruiz, do it! You have my permission! Alright. Please insert into go disc. In you go. Into go disc confirmed! Zero lab elevator redirected to area zero under depth. Redirected? Hmm, that wording. Look at that, it opened! Let's head on in! Huh. You know, we did take an elevator down to the time machine. So yeah, this does go deeper. Man. Been a while, hasn't it? All over the whiteboard. Christ. Carmine, what do you do? It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally bringing out their funk, hmm? Shut it. 
Where's Miss Briar, anyways? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Oh, no. Aren't those some of the private's photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at that. Hmm, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Yeah, I have bad feelings about this, but I'm going to go through. It's fine. I'm protecting this coon. I can handle this. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe we can take it to go further down. You want it to go down, right? Down, you say? All right, that snapped her out. Rummaging through the time machine research, all right. Oh my, did you use the elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Sure did. How exciting. Well, no time to waste. Let's go down. All right. Well, after me. Wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Uh, hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Did it say something about where this elevator goes? Now that you've mentioned it, yeah, some more elevator being redirected, right? So we're going to skip past the time machine. Motherfucker knew about it. As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. The panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So where is it exactly taking us? Oh, <laughs> where indeed? Yeah. If you aren't going to be evil, I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> this is not... Oh, my. Oh, my goodness! Motherfucking professor was holding out on us? Are you ser... It's fine. It is fine. So, what, are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, look, according to my dad, our current position is far deeper than we were last were. Could the elevator be taking us even further down than its previous destination? Probably. Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Uh, hey. What's all this stuff? Oh! What's this desk doing down here? Oh my, oh my, this and this. This is the report written by the esteemed Professor Turo. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, resembles Terapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become a crystal, protecting it from out hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I've dubbed this Terra type the Stellar type for now. Could Trapagos influence be at play? Actually, I remember the professor voice up the top of my head, but again, my throat's fucked right now. Oh. Ooh. I love the chanting. Trapagos is hidden. is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? What's this about a Stellar type? Really, absolutely marvelous! I think there was so much that he didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove. We've only just begun our expedition. Huh, I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still have a guy who might fill these documents, but okay, let's go. It'd be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stand guard, everyone. Hmm. 
No, you're not gonna follow me? Alright. Uh, Alright, I can ride my ride on here, but let's... Oh. Huh. Interesting. That is a giant crystal. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going to get any further with this in the way. Hey, what about... Uh, hey, what about Wajimodon? That Pokemon you ride on. Could it smash through? No, let's give it a go. Hold on, please, hold on, hold on! This is quite like the manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. You have no idea what might happen if we try to brute force it. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm. That's a different... Is there a Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? Since we charge all this kind of strange energy. Hey, get back if you know what's good for you, but... You know you're not good in a battle, Miss Friar. Kiki, no, we really should handle this. I mean, I... Is this going to be the stellar type? It is. All right. What the hell is that energy? It, it couldn't be. All right. I'm a torch song it. Rock side is gonna hurt like a bitch. That's fine. I just realized everything it's going to use is probably going to be... Why? Okay. I want to hex you, so... I want, I mean, I want to freaking... I want to Will-O-Wisp you so bad. It's fine. I'm going to just Torch Song you again, but you're going to Power Gem me. That's going to be it, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Wait a second. Can it even be paralyzed or burned for that matter? It was every type. Put it to the test. Okay, so we paralyzed. All right, all right. Whew. Lux of debris is annoying, but that's fine. Not very effective. That's fine. Um, I'm a. Sp Bark you now. Does that break your Terra Crystal? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, you're not going to... Really? Well, I was sitting here thinking like, Oh, I can try to catch you. Okay, well. I'm not even in a double battle gate, like, come on. Like, I, I never said it the first time, but like, uh, whatever. Good work, Rubies. All right, broke through. Whew. Whoa, it disappeared. They're not gonna have that sparkly Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear. Just like the report we found earlier. We just witnessed was a Pokemon building the power of each and every single type. I must have win what? That means it must have been the stellar terror type. So, uh, what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we were looking for? I can't say for certain, but no, I, no, I don't think so. Professor on the notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in a crystal form. The more we just fought doesn't fully fit the description. But I don't think it's the Pokemon Professor called Terrapagos. 
Well, no one would know what's it if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. Yeah, Kieran is on a mission. Kieran. Oh. Hmm. That's just torch song. God, Ak Noivan looks kind of sick with it. <laughs> oh, the shimmering effects kind of makes it look like a, in like the shimmering's like individual scales on it. it. God, that's cool. The fire types just don't work on you. Okay. Well, can I at least Will O Wisp you? Tailwind, that's fine. I'm setting up for a hex. Okay. Hex. Does not affect skill? What are they trying to use on me? Boom burst? Something? Wasn't paying attention. All right. One more time. Yeah, I can't catch it anyways. That's fine. Yeah, I was trying to use boom burst. Well, so it probably just can't hit me. That's funny. It is tailwinded and then died. Wonderful. I think I've got every item here. At the very least, most. I can look behind me after this. Alright, yep, that cleared that. Good job, Ruiz. The crystal's gone now. Yep. All the days work. Um... Oh, there's an item up there. I gotta go get that. Uh, wait, let me. <laughs> oh, oh, careful. Up here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was in Fire Terrorist. <laughs> All right. Ooh. This game and its geometry. Just myself. Oh. That book was called Maridon, right? Boy, you can really jump. Oh, not uh, Whatchamadon, as you were calling it before, huh, Carmine? We're on a roll. Let's keep on moving. Ah, uh, you know, Kieran, you, you you were a champion too. You you could help out, you know. I don't have to fight everything. Just saying. You doing well? Oh my eye. Ooh. <sighs> All right, Will O Wisp, Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we just hex you. Huh. Man, you wild hook one AI really... Really don't do much. You're rock electric type. You can... I know you have probably like, you know, Stone Age or something in there, you know? Ah, there we go. You know, it's a little too late, but, you know, you try. A for effort. Oh, 
Alright. Or did I also free up the area from before too? Just have to check that when I get back there, because it's not going to show me. Hey, Ruiz, the path opened up! Thank you for telling me. Some more... Stellar Shards? Psychic Shards? I can just climb up, right? Yeah, okay. The game isn't that sadistic. Up here. But then let's also just go directly across just to see if... Actually, it might put me in a cutscene. No, it did. Oh, yes, it did. Okay. I want to check up there, though. So we're having you do all the work. We really appreciate it, Rubies. That's a really cool phone case. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther we go down. Come on, we've got no time to lose. Alright. Lead the way, Miss Briar. I'll, uh, catch up. I gotta check if that one area opened up. Uh, it didn't. Alright, well. I'll take note of it. You get looking around the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Yeah, of course you don't. Freaking lake all over again. Oh, look at that, the Pokemon. Uh, let's look around, though. Holy fuck. Whew. Yeah, 4 a.m. sitting me. But should be fine. It's just a will o wisp and a hex. Purifying salt, that's right. Okay, well, uh, heavy slam ain't gonna do much. And that's good. Let's use Torch Song just so that way we can. Get our special attack up one. Well, let's just use Hex now. Earthquake, well. Good shit, Skeletor Verge. You lived. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Right down. Get later to come clutch. Break up a Okay Kiki, you're trying to call over Rubies. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blubbering, just do it. <sighs> hey! The path opened up! We can keep going! Hmm. Well, Kiki, is there something you wanted to say to Ruiz? No, not really. It just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him is all. We should keep going. Motherfucker. That's what I've been saying. God, he's so stubborn. <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Fire not now. So soon now, we're also fending off wild Pokemon where you are away. 
So me and my team were just about spent. So this is all I got left. So if something happens, you better save me. Well. Because it's not my fault you guys didn't pack healing items. What the fuck? My terror orb, I think, is reacting to something? Huh? You're right. Mine is two. Uh, I'm picking up truly astounding levels of terrestrial energy. Hmm, wonderful. Seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. H hey, wh where do you think you're going? Ooh, I can't wait another second. We just bought the Violet Book. It's so close now. What? Not you two. Those two sometimes, I swear. Ooh, what is this place? Vibes here are totally on a different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? <laughs> there, Kieran. Up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Interesting. This stone. It's the hidden treasure. Give me a moment, I just, I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero... I... I can finally beat Ruiz! Hiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Sh shut it, sis! Ruiz... That's everything... I've ever wanted! He's got strong Pokémon! He can go anywhere he wants! He can be friends with anyone! I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. But Kiki, you, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You're being all nasty towards him at first, but then boom, you're best friends in no time. Well, I, I... I've got nothing. I've worked so hard. For what? I still lost in the end. This is all I have left now. Found it. The crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. What was everything you've got? Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. She does not care. She was having a mental breakdown. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I thought it was landing in front of me. There's no doubt about it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. I'm getting ready to fight Kieran. <laughs> oh boy. Third curve stopping. Here we come. Hi, Terrapagos. Oh no. No. You're mine! Yep. Hey, was that... Tropagos? You caught it, right? Uh, finally. Well done, Kieran! The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. I can study Tropicos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. You can give us a little demonstration of Tropicos' power right now. Well, you heard our release. I'm itching to see what Tropicos can do. Get ready so we can start. Just uh, give me a second, here. Let me just save. Some shit's about to go down. Uh, let's grab the max elixirs. Okay, so that's already fully healed. Got it. Got you. Um, 
I wonder, are you going to lead off with it right away? Are we going to ease into our legend? You know what? Let's just let's just fight. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Get in position. I hope you braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Ruiz. Going right for it. I wonder if this is going to be a fake out. If it's even going to listen. Go, Tropico! Show Ruiz what you're made of! What level is it? Oh, okay. Tropico's Terra Shift. Okay. I'm a Ivy Cudgel you. So this is the hidden treasure's true form. But this, I, I could for sure. You don't even know what you're doing. It's only good junk. Is that a headbutt? That's fine. Uh, Ivy Cudgel again. That was a crit. Like most power should be far greater than this, could it be we're missing something? Uh, I feel like we are. Well... <laughs> um... Yeah, something ain't right. Why? I thought if I had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it... It would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Ruiz! That's not how Pokemon works, buddy. You gotta remember the, you know, Eevees, the Ivies, tight matchups. Come on, man. <laughs> Give it up. Kiki, that's enough. It's time for you to stop this. No. Something's not right. Its rustle energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Violet book. So, Tropicos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero. No, I'm sure it is. We were just supposed to be missing something. We're gonna transform it into the treasure. Of course! Tropicos is made of terrestrial energy! Kieran, you must terrestrialize Tropicos this instant! If I'm just correct, Tropicos will resonate with the energy of your Terra Orb, and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. Am I allowed to heal between fights? You're going to heal me up? Or we're just phase two. I knew it! The pilot book was right! Tropicos is in its fully awakened form! This is the treading treasure of Area Zero! Let's hope nothing bad of it comes forth. Hi, Maridon. Let's get out of hand, Kiki. You should return Tropicos into its ball. Uh, okay. Come back, Tropicos. It broke the mast. <laughs> it won't go back inside. Why? Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. Well. Energy I puts up haywire. We're in serious danger. We can't get the control. Sorry, kid, but please, you, you need to stop Tropicos. 
Come on, Kiki, you can do something too. We got Tropicals under control. No, this wasn't just to happen. This, this is all my fault. Oh, joy. Oh, joy, yeah. It's straight from one fight into another. Thankfully, hospitality does, you know, something. I could Terra right away, but I don't want to. Yikes. It's just a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, stressing your Pokemon might help. Man, I know. Crazy, it might. Um, I'm not going to. Hyper is kind of not needed right now. Uh, actually, can we out-heal the damage? It depends. No. Um... I was gonna say, I'm choice banded. There's your chance. Use to rustle his Pokemon to strike it back. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna wait a bit. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Oh, what the hell to do here? Oh no! My sins just knocked out. This is it's no good. It's just too strong. Okay. There's a couple of places we can try to do. It was every type. Or song ain't gonna help us. Um, maybe spine? All right, I'll terrestrialize if you're asking me to, and I'll go for waterfall. And Kieran's over there having a panic attack. Wonderful. I'll clean up this mess like always. Zen head, but okay. Okay, let me do too much. Thank God for intimidate, right? There we go. Unfortunately, we're not faster, which I was hoping for. But is that going to do more damage because of terrestrialize? Yes. Not a feeling. Um, I didn't give you a lepa berry. That is unfortunate. Uh, we just need to get off one revival blessing mittens. You can do it. I know you can. Come on, little guy. Um. I would need Piper for sure. And actually, it's probably a good thing we didn't use Piper for the Terrastal. All right, Mittens. You did good work. Next is Piper. All right, Piper. Ready for round two. The more IV cudgels, and by more, I mean three. It's only talking about one mod now, which is might actually do significantly more damage. Oh yeah. That's fine though. This should get rid of the shield, at least the first one. I'm assuming there's probably gonna be more.
What? It absorbed terrestrial energy? Wait, can I terrestrialize again? Change its type. They put up another barrier of such strength. Did you use terrestrial energy to absorb it too? You need to get in that battle, Kiki. Ruiz is doing all the work. It's it's no good. I'm I'm useless. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna struggle with this. All right. All right, let's bring out Hammy next. It's probably gonna use Earth Power on us. Uh, we might not get this first try. Uh, get get some hammer. Mm-hmm. All right. Not really. Trust lights your Pokemon so it shines once more. I oh, it's just going to let me? Well, I, I can't really do that again. <laughs> if I knew that, I would have saved the Gigaton on Hammer, you piece of sh... 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 It's fine. Hmm. Part of me is like, do I want to use items for this? But there's also another part of me is like, hmm. All right. Terrestrialize, last respects. Let's go, Mound. Quick claw activation. I know you got it in you. Bye, Mound. You might be able to take one, maybe. Oh my god. Uh, this last respect should do a lot, though, right? Yes, it did. Oh my god. If we can get a quick claw activation, that would also be nice. Oh no. It was a trust lunge yet again. I sure can't keep doing that over and over, though. Ruiz is in trouble. If you don't, you need to help him. But I, I can't. I, I can't help anyone. Come on, let's do it together. Kind of need you. I'm on my last two mons. Do, 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 do. God, that's such a cool mon. All right, now, like, ideally, though, like, real shit. Yeah, change its type. Wonderful. Uh, okay, I'll help out too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess, but the two of you need to clean up this whole mess. Uh, hopefully we can. Um, I'm on last respect. Quick claw activation? No, okay, well. Critic, wow. Okay, yeah, just a huge F me. Oh no. This is the worst form for you to take Terrapagos <laughs> for my last Mon. Well then. Um, hi there. How are you doing, Terrapagos? Yeah, that's what I thought. You need Earth Power me, or? Water Pulse, okay.
That's a yikes. <laughs> I want to redo this fight. Okay. for that. Oh boy. Okay. Yo, Kieran, can you solo? <laughs> or is this gonna game over me? Okay, it's gonna game over me. That's fine. Do -do 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 -do. Bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba dum ba dum Alright. Uh I can keep Piper on here because Mittens is faster than Tarapa Go, so we can bring back Piper if need be. Okay, I'll help out too. Yep, wait, the never clean up this whole mess. All right, I'd be cudgel. God, Ogre Pond, you are amazing. Fantastic. Um, hmm, do I? Also good that you're lowering down its speed. Can't terrestrialize yet, unfortunately. Mighty cudgel again. That's fine by me. Piper can go down right now. Went a lot better. Um, let's bring out Mittens, Revival Blessing, Piper. Revival Blessing. Come on, Mittens. Put your Mittens to work. Uh, Piper? Black. That is not who you should be dragon cheering, my friend, but you know what? It's fine. Actually, am I going to be able to get two revival blessings off? Yes. Uh, Revival Blessing. In case I need it. Let's grab... Part of me wants to grab Skeledurge. The other part of me is like, Last Respects. That's fine. You did your best, Kieran. Thank you. Let's do another Pokemon. But you know, I, I'd highly appreciate. Oh, you do, thank God. Okay. Terrestrialize, Ivy Cudgel. Alright, we got this then. But I still even I even have Hammy. I still have Hammy, so you know. I have Hammy. We have Mound. Be good. Viper, come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Lay it down. Uh 
All right, final phase. Ooh, critical hit. Good. I mean, not necessary, but all right. Okay. It looks like I can't any more energy to put in, up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have a permission to go all out. All right. It's gonna. Oh, it didn't use. Good. Good fucking bye, Terrapagos. All right, trial two. That was fine, though. All right. Now that I knew what I was getting into, I even fucked up in the beginning. I was thinking like, oh, maybe you should use Dirge, just, you know, start off the Dirge, that might help. No, Piper was the right choice. I decided to terrestrialize right off the bat. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. I know I can count on your race. You got this. Oh, thanks, Kieran. Hmm, no ball to put it in. Ooh, Lure Ball isn't half bad, actually. I don't mind, you know, I don't mind. Look at the lure ball for a Terrapagos. <gasps> oh, fuck. Do, 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 do. Oh, is it over? Is everyone okay? Yep, how about you? That was almost... Mm, I, I still question your morals, Briar, but it doesn't seem like you were necessarily evil. I, I'm fine, thank you. Perfectly unharmed. Let my assumption lead you all to a very dangerous situation. Simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. Unfortunate. You... You should be. You can play fix it on the Tarasal stuff. You gotta keep your obsession in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up too. I looked at Ruiz for so long. It was a field trip. <laughs> I wanted to be like him so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I don't have it in me to like... To be like him after all. Finally. Finally I can let go. Oh, you're really cool too. But, uh, I just... Hmm. I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Hmm. Oh, you two must be so scared. But you shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. In the end, Ruiz even managed to catch Tropagos. You're not seeing it. I think we could consider this little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Yep, come on, you crybabies. One foot in front of the other. Uh, let me get ready to mute the Elgato if some uh, copyright music starts playing. Okay. Yeah, finally home. Need to get in touch with Gita. Oh, I need to get in touch with Gita. No, scratch that. Publisher first. Uh, hey, Ruiz. Uh, look, I know I've caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. But, um... I wanted to give everyone a proper apology. Including you, Ruiz. I'm so sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I, I want to make things right. As the sun starts rising, so... Do you think... We can start over from zero and be friends again? I mean... Sure. Hey! Leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? No? Hidden treasures of Area Zero.
A Mew Elgato. Oh, that's nice. Oh. All right, where am I going? A Javon student, Ruiz from Uva Academy. Before I speak to you, she has some important news to show you regarding trust the phenomenon. Okay, will do. Meet up with Miss Briar. Where do I want to go? I have to meet up with Miss Briar. Hi, Miss Briar. Hey, Ruiz, glad to see you. You're feeling rest and recovered after a big adventure down in the Underdepths? Yep. Sure. Oh, youth really is an enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But, on once why I called you here. Since our return, we might have everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I hardly slept. I have thinking of this permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila, a proof of copy of the book freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. Copy of Briar's book. Neat. Briar's book. Proof. Copy exploration notes covering the area zero under depth. It's filled with long pair of guns to what happened, all with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly under the, in the under depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient enough as apology. It isn't, but I'll take it. Ah, but there's something else I need to check with you. Do you mind showing me your tarot or breweries? Sure. Hmm, much as I thought. Behaving like Kirin's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs are directly exposed to energy from Terrapagos. Kirin and Carmine say that ever since the Underdeps, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without changing their Terra orb. Not charging their Terra orbs. Oh, quality of life. Nice. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to the deep depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs out on the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. But now that we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds, but the other day I tried adding crystals and I'd collected the other depths to that mix and it caused properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they have the stellar terra type. Thanks to this, my research to the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Neat. Uh, grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get boosted. Uh, in Terra Battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Okay. So it's just like whatever you want it to be in that moment. Okay. Oh, and there's one last thing. Red and Blue Suit was looking for you over by the entrance of the Academy. That's all to report. Thanks for sending aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave it to you. Next time we meet, I'll ask you a good long I'll ask you for a good long look at Tropicos. Till then. Alright. 